and welcome to Excel video 359. I'm Nate Moore. Today's example is something I can actually do for your practice. If you can get your practice management information into Excel, you can do what we're going to do today and in the next couple of Excel videos. If you can't get your information into Excel to do this, let's talk. Before we get to arrays, I know you're all excited to get back to arrays, but a little bit of basics before we get to arrays and then we'll hit arrays hard again in the next Excel video. I've got open appointment slots that I either have uh, been able to download or I've helped you download into Excel. I've got uh, all one provider here, Dr. Nate, bunch of date and times for those appointments uh, that are open and available. The type of appointment, I got a couple categories, new, follow-up, surgery, that kind of stuff, and some locations. And what I want to be able to do is search through my open appointment slots and find open uh, surgical appointments, open new patient appointments at this location, that kind of thing. So what we're going to start with is just the formula to do it before we get to the fancy array stuff. And that formula is right here. It's called small. And let's just open it up and I'll show you what small does. It's going to take an array. Say, well, we can't get entirely away from arrays. A range of cells where all my appointment open appointments are, B3 to B22. And then what this K value is, is it says, show me the third smallest or the second smallest or the sixth smallest or whatever value in the set. So what I want is, these are future appointments in column B. And I want to know when the third next available appointment is. So I'm going to put a three here. And sure enough, the good people at Excel can go back and find that for all appointments, it can go look up and down this list and see, all right, there's one on the third. There's two on the seventh. That's at 7 a.m. So I'm going to go 115. And, oops, I missed one on the fifth. That's why, see, that's why you use Excel, because there's one on, the, here's the third, here's the fifth, here's the third next available appointment right there. And it can find it for you. And then you could do a, you could do something like this and say, here's the first next available, the second next available, and the third next available. And what's my formula? Equals small, the range to look at, comma, what number do I want? The first smallest, the second smallest, the third smallest. And again, I want small because these are all future appointments. I want the one, the smallest future appointment, the future appointment that's closest to me, or the second smallest or the third smallest future appointment. That's what I'm looking for in these small formulas. Now, if you want to start looking for new appointments or you want to do it all in one great big array rather than have to do a formula for every one, or you want to get even fancier than that, Stay tuned. That's where we're going. Thanks for watching.